Hello, everyone. Welcome. And uh, I want to thank you all for taking our time to join uh, our HTML, CSS class. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be educative. And I'm going to try my best to bring you up to speed in the shortest time possible. Uh, today's video is basically an introductory video. I'm going to tell you about, I'm about to tell you about myself and uh, what we expect from the course and uh, the tools requirements that uh, will keep you going on the course. So my name is Chidi. I think my first name should be enough because that's basically what you use to address me if you need to. Uh, I hold four degrees. I have a degree in computers, a BS in computer science. I have uh, a master's in information technology. I have a second master's in computer science and I have a higher level diploma in aviation. Uh, my regular job, I'm an aviator by, by profession and a software developer by interest. So basically my day-to-day -day jobs require is, is carried out in the aviation industry and um, what I do, what I do with my spare time is software development. Uh, this course is basically created to get you up to speed in the quickest time possible to in HTML and CSS. And I believe by my resume, I think I'm qualified to handle the session of the course. So um, the link is going to expire. So if you have friends, or uh, if you have friends or family members that you want to board this course, this is the time to actually get them on board. As for the tools that will be required to get you up and running this course, you're going to need an internet device. You're going to need a laptop if you plan to code along with me. If you don't have a laptop, maybe you just probably want to watch the videos and get, get a general idea of what's going on. For the, the course is scheduled to come to an end by the 30th of this month. Uh, I'll try my best to get you getting as much information before then. We're going to do more of practical course, practical uh, simulations and um, I think the most important thing to, is to get you up and running with the theories that are involved in the course. After that we can move on to the practical aspect of the course. There's going to be question and answer sessions. I'm going to give you take home assignments which I expect uh, you to participate or submit and if you don't have a laptop to participate you can try your best. You can write it up on a piece of paper, snap and upload to the group. The group is not open to broadcast, it's not open to adverts. I want everyone to respect the feelings and opinions of others respect the questions that others might ask. There is no question that is stupid. There is no question that is below standard. We are all here to learn and we are all here to push ourselves forward. I'll probably learn a thing or two from you. you probably learn a thing or two from me, but the most important part is that you're here and we're actually going to get going. You're going to also need a Gmail account. You're definitely going to need a Gmail account because you'll be making some subscriptions and you'll probably be filling out some forms or some questionnaires that I'll be letting out in the course. You're going to need a good standing internet service, as I mentioned earlier. And for the tools that we're actually going to need to get started, if you're actually going to follow along with me on in the programming aspect of this course, you're going to need a code editor, and I'll be working with Visual Studio Code. You're also going to need a browser. Uh, you need you can make use of Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, whichever one you find more interested. And for the Visual Studio Code, you can simply just Google and um, get it downloaded and installed on your computer, regardless of the computer you're making use of. I personally make use of a Mac computer, but you can make use of a Linux based distro or a Windows computer. If you're having any difficulty installing this, I'm going to open the channel for about 30 minutes to 30 minutes to one hour to have people add their views, their opinions, or probably ask a few questions or ask questions regarding the installations of these tools. Get Visual Studio Code installed and I'll wait for the next upcoming lecture. Uh, we're going to actually have live coding sessions, so you're definitely going to need a Gmail account. So you're going to subscribe to the YouTube channel where the live coding session is going to take place and on the live coding session you'll be allowed to ask questions directly as I code along and those within without a laptop you can just follow up with your phone okay I think basically that's all you need so I thank you and I welcome you once more on this um, crash course on HTML and CSS and I'll see you on board